Welcome to my channel Ruby Assessment. In this video I want to teach you how to loom net this beautiful poncho. It's very easy to do and I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're going to need to make it. To make this circular loom net poncho, this is the material I'm going to use. I'm going to use some uh, pom-pom yarn that I have here from when the fever of the pom-pom yarn. So I want to give some use. So I'm going to use one and a half of these. And in a different video I will teach you how to do a super scarf as well with this type of yarn. Um, this one have 150 gram each, so one and a half, depend on the length that you want to give to yours. This yarn here is medium 4, 100% acrylic, uh, from Loop Centre Impeccable. And this is for the color. This black you're going to use the most. And for the with the white only for two rows. The circular loom have 41 pegs. You're gonna need the tool that come with the loom, a crochet hook of nine millimeters, and tapestry needle and scissors. So <laughs> it's very convenient that uh, now I have very short nail that I remove my acrylic nail to give a rest to my nail. So it's very easy for me to work in the loop. So you're gonna cut uh, a pom-pom and leaving that tail in there, that strand, because with this we're gonna attach um, this one when we finish, that way we don't have this hanging, okay? So now in this space you're gonna do a knot so you're going to do the loop and you're going to pass the pom pom through that loop and create a knot and you're going to hook this loop and this peg and the first peg of the left side so from this one here this is the right side and this are the left one so in between peg, we're going to leave a pom-pom and we're going to work with this. And from the, in something else, we're going to be working, I forgot to mention, in the outside of the loom, not the inside. So you're going to wrap around the next peg from the left side to the right, wrapping around and leaving a pom-pom in between. This is the next pom-pom and you're going to wrap around and leave that pom-pom in between. You see, like this, you're going to continue wrapping around all the way around your loom. And this, and in a couple hours, you will have this poncho done. So, if you live in Canada, and you don't have this type of yarn, I think, I don't know if in all the dollar store in Canada, but i seen them at the dollar store for three dollar. They had this yarn, so at least in my local dollar store they have them. You can get some and create this beautiful piece. It's a perfect for Christmas present. So you're going to continue wrapping around, leaving a pom-pom in between post all the way around. Here I'm going to work in the last one, so I'm going to wrap this one around and now we're going to start in here, we're going to pass this one like this, we don't want to wrap it around. Let me turn this around, that way you can see better and zoom in a little bit. So you're going to grab the one under and pass it to the one at the top. So. Now the next one in between is this one. So what I do is I wrap it around. I hold these two together. You see, and pass this one on top of that one. This is the one for this space. You see the pom pom in between that space. I grab it here, hold them together, 
and this is very fast. So I'm going to try to change the position a little better where you can see better. Okay? But you see how fast it is. And this grows really, really fast. Okay, so it don't look like much, but very soon you will have your pension. If by any chance when you're working, some of these fall off like this so it's very easy you just again keep that one in here wrap that one keep that one in the next one and wrap this way and you fix the problem and even these ones that you already did the second row it will tend to come out so you have to be very careful because uh, you don't want to lose any stitches because you have to if you lose one stitch completely you have to do all over again um, yesterday when I was doing my uh, scarf, my super scarf, that the one that I did to, to see what I look like, um, I put it down on top of my basket, I went for a walk and I don't pay attention how I put it down and when I came back like six stitches were gone and I almost was at the end. So with the crochet hook I fixed it but you have to be very careful so you're gonna continue you see holding these two you pull them and you pass this on top of that one and again you see this is what you do all the way around leaving a pump on in between Now we're going to start row number three and again you're going to continue doing this exactly the same. And like I said by holding those two pompons together you are um, doing this stitch a little tighter here and this one's in the bottom is a little loose and it's easier for you to bring the one in the bottom. And this is row number three and they will take shape once they are you know longer they will go like this one on top of each other it's so easy that even your daughters can do this or your granddaughters you know it's very easy I'm going to continue doing this until I have my desired length and I will let you know I'm going to keep track of the amount of row and I will let you know how many row in total I give to mine before I start working on the corner. Here I've done nine rows so far and look how nice it started to look and it's very wide from one end to the other one is like incredible. And it started to look really really nice. A little trick that way is easier for you once you've done a few rows you lay it flat on a surface like this and each time you're working the stitches you move it around like this 
and it's very easy for you to work and the stitch don't come out of the little pegs. Here I've done 29 row and I've done one ball of yarn. I have just this little piece left. It's not enough to do another row. But I want to do this a little bit longer. You can try it on by, you know, placing over your head like that. And to see that it's long enough for you. And since I have another ball of yarn, I'm gonna do like six row more to see if that's the length that now I want. Now to attach the ends, I'm gonna cut this pompon out because don't have tails here. So I'm gonna cut it as close to the pompon as I can. That way I have enough strand here. So you're gonna grab your two ends here and you're gonna do a knot in this one here, leaving those two pompons out. So I'm gonna do a knot in here. A little more close to the center. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much the same. I'm gonna pass this one this way and this one this way. That way is the same color. And now you're gonna attach this one in here. You see? That way there'll be this one will be in one space and this one will be in the other space. And this will be in the center like that. Okay. When you have to pass a center in between uh, two. holes and this is nice and secure in here maybe you have a better way to do it but this is the way I like to do mine okay and do the same on the other side once you finish attaching you cut the two ends and look it look like a just one pom pom a little bit bigger so it's an easier way like this and this piece is nice and strong and your piece don't gonna come undone in here okay because when you pull you're not pulling in here you're pulling in here okay. so go ahead continue working and when I get to this point I will show you how you're gonna do this one okay here I am at the part where I did the uh, union of the two ends so I'm gonna pass it through here you see this like this and I'm gonna pass the one in the bottom like that and I have one of the big pom pom in this side and one on the other side as this one here and continue you see you don't gonna see that um, union there because the pompons look the same so you don't have hanging threads or anything to finish it up there or anything that's perfect so you're gonna continue working all the way around till you have your desired length once you finish with the last row I finish here in the same place where I started so I'm going to count one, two, three, four pom pongs and I'm going to cut in here. Okay, leaving that tail in here. Now to finish with this, you're going to tie this a knot in this one here. The next one, you're going to tie a knot in here. And once you pass your yarn, that you secure that knot, you'll have a space here. So that, that one, you'll pass it through under this one here and you will pass it to the post in here again in this pompon you will attach this one to this one here and the extra yarn you will pass it through here and like that you are going to do every single one that way you have a very strong finish here I am going to do a knot between that pompon in here you know the one in between the post and the tail that I cut so I'm going to pass them through. So you have to be careful not to remove one of the posts. So 
so you do a knot between those two here and again you're gonna do another knot that's why it's easier to do with short nails you see you're gonna do another knot in here this is my way of securing the ends that way the work will come undone and you're mashing two pom-poms and you don't gonna see any seams or anything in here you're gonna have a seamless piece you see a double knot now that space in between the two pom-poms I'm gonna pass it under the stitch that I took out before and I'm gonna place it back on the post that black one and you're gonna have two stitches in here and you're gonna do exactly the same on the other ones you see so those two you're gonna tap together in here you're gonna do a double knot again and then you're going to pass again that space in between the pompons under the stitch and place it back into the post. And here with the last one, this one, you're going to attach this little tail and this side of this one and you're going to do a few knots there and cut the tip of that tail and you have done and in here these three are double here and it's nice and secure. Now I have my yarn and the tapestry needle and it's still attached to my ball of yarn this one I don't want any of my stitches escaping so what I'm gonna do now with my tapestry needle I'm gonna come here and I grab these two make sure that you grab these two because they're double and these two and these two you have to make sure that you don't lose any stitch you have to work very careful here because if you lose one stitch you lose your work and you're going to remove all your stitches to here the I remove of yarn. all my stitches and when you pull the white yarn like this they all go like that so I'm going to start from the beginning here I did a knot here and then I cut my yarn still attached to my ball of yarn and I'm going to start here from the first stitch So I'm gonna do a slip knot. I'm gonna when you pull this like this, the ones that you need to grab they are higher up. So you pass your hook through there and pull your yarn. And you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do a single crochet in that stitch. You're gonna go to the next one again. You're gonna pull the yarn like this, the white, to pull out the stitch. You will have to make sure that you grab the right stitch because you grab the one under and leave this one out. When you finish and you remove the white yarn, you lose your stitches. So you're gonna pass it through. You're gonna do a single crochet. That's two. Go to the next one. Pull your yarn up. Pass your hook. Maybe my white is in the way. And that is three. Go to the next one. See when you pull, and you see the one that you're supposed to grab. This is four, and in that one, I'm gonna do an increase. I'm gonna do another single crochet. And 
again we go to the next one I do one two three I go to number four and I'm gonna do an increase. That's four and an increase. You're gonna continue doing this all the way around, okay? Here I did my two together. I have one left. I'm gonna do one here. And I have 51 single crochet. I'm gonna go to the one that I start and I'm gonna do another one because I want to have 52. This one, yeah, it's driving me crazy. I want to have 52 single crochet, so I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna do one in the same space that I did the first one, and I'm gonna do a slip stitch and the first one. So now we're gonna chain three one, two, and three, and we're gonna do a double crochet on top of each single crochet, and we have to have 52 double crochet. That's counting the chain. So you're going to continue like that all the way around. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch on the third chain and I know it's really difficult to see the work with black yarn but it's no another color that I can use in here that will contrast. So here you're going to chain three, one, two and three and you're going to work the post, you're going to do a front post, double crochet and a back post, double crochet. A front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. You're gonna do this all the way around one in the front and one in the back. I'm gonna cut that white yarn because it's driving me crazy, it's tangling up with it. I'm gonna finish with the slip stitch in the third chain chain three and if you have your 52 stitches you'll have this one as a front post and the chain will look like a back post so now you're gonna work the front post as a front post and the back post for the back after this row we're gonna do one row of the post. I'm going to finish with, with a slip white. stitch on the third chain. And I'm going to do a slip knot with a white. And I'm going to pass that loop inside the other loop, the black. And I'm going to pull the tail of the black very tight. And I'm going to leave the black there because I'm going to be working with the black next, in the next row. So here, I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm going to do this row with the white. And I'm going to work the front post and the back post. Only one row. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch on the third chain. And I'm going to grab the uh, black now. I'm going to pass it through. Pull the white. 
tight. I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna do a knot in here to secure the white with the black and later I will lose that tail and that's nice and secure now I'm gonna chain three one two and three and you wanna work front post and your back post with the black so this repetition you're gonna do as many as you like and the white is optional but I like it with the white because it gives a good contrast with the pom pom so I will continue off camera with this repetition and I will let you know how many row in total I will give to mine and if you like you can leave just one row of white I don't know yet if I'm gonna do more it's as I go. So that is up to you if you want to do the white, but look the nice contrast from here to here. So it's really nice. This is what the color look like. If you would like, you can leave it like this. You don't have to go any higher. After you do the row with the white, you do one with the black, and it look fantastic like that with a combination of the pom poms. So it's up to you if you want to continue. Here I did 11 rows, so I did 3 of black, 1 of white, 3 black, 1 white, and 3 black. And here I did slip stitch, chain 1, cut the yarn, and loose the tails. The inside tail as well. And remove these. And in here, this is the one that we left from the beginning. You're gonna grasp the little tail and you're gonna make a knot in here and you'll secure that one there and you are done. I'm gonna finish these tails and I'll show you the end result and it look amazing. This is what it look like once you finish and the color is nice and soft because it's made with a very thick uh, crochet hook. And I use uh, this one one whole ball of yarn and a little bit of the other one, hardly any of the other one. And the white, I just use a little bit because I only did two row. And the black, I did uh, uh, that was nine row, and I use a little bit more of this one. So with 100 grams of the black and 50 of the white, you'll have. So, but remember, you have to use the same uh, type of yarn, the same thickness for here. That way, it's nice and even. And it look amazing, so I'm gonna put it on and show you the end result. Well, this is the end result, and I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make this piece and you want to send me some picture, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman, or you can find me in my Instagram, Ruby Stedman Crochet. Please share my videos with friends and family, that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.